The name Tay Son Vietnamese, Tjn, Han Viet, Xi Shan Chao is used in Vietnamese history in various ways to refer to the period of peasant rebellions and decentralized dynasties established between the end of the Figurehead La dynasty in 1770 and the beginning of the Nguyen dynasty in 1802. The name of the rebel leader's home district, Tay Son, came to be applied to the leaders themselves the Tay Son brothers, i.e., Nguyen Nok, Hugh, and Lu, their uprising the Tay Son uprising or their rule the Nguyen Tay Son dynasty. <laughs> <laughs> Background During the 18th century, Vietnam was under the nominal rule of the officially revered, but politically powerless La dynasty. Real power was in the hands of two warring feudal families, the Trinh Lords of the North who controlled and ruled from the imperial court in Hanoi and the Nguyen Lords in the South, who ruled from their capital Hue. Both sides fought each other for control of the country, while claiming to be loyal to the emperor. Life for the peasant farmers was difficult. Ownership of land became more concentrated in the hands of a few landlords as time passed. The Mandarin bureaucracy was oppressive and often corrupt. At one point, royal sanctioned degrees were up for sale for whoever was wealthy enough to purchase them. In contrast to the people, the ruling lords lived lavish lifestyles in huge palaces. The decades long war between the Trinh and the Nguyen had ended in 1673, and life for the northern peasants was fairly peaceful. However, the Nguyen lords engaged in a regular series of wars with the weak Khmer Empire, and later, the fairly strong state of Siam. While the Nguyen usually won, and despite the fact that the new lands they conquered offered new opportunities for the landless poor, the frequent wars took a toll on their popularity. Topic: <laughs> Conquest of Nguyen clan. In 1769, the new king of Siam, King Taksin, launched a war to regain control of Cambodia. The war generally went against Nguyen lords and they were forced to abandon some of the newly conquered lands, which included Cambodia's eastern coast Cochin, China. This failure, coupled with heavy taxes and corruption at the local level, caused three brothers from the village of Tay Sun to begin a revolt against Lord Nguyen Phuc Thuan. The Tay Sun brothers styled themselves as champions of the people. Over the next year, the revolt gained traction and they won some battles against the Nguyen army units sent to crush their rebellion. The Tay Sun had a great deal of popular support, not only from the poor farmers, but from some of the indigenous highland tribes. The leader of the three brothers, Nguyen Hu, was also a very skilled military leader. Nguyen Hu said that his goal was to end the people's oppression, reunite the country, and restore the power of the La Emperor in Hanoi. The Tay Sun also promised to remove corrupt officials and redistribute land. In 1773 the Tay Son captured the port of Khi Non, where the merchants, who had suffered under restrictive laws put in place by the Nguyen, gave the uprising financial support. The Nguyen, at last recognizing the serious scale of the revolt, made peace with the Siamese, giving up some land they had conquered in previous decades. However, their problems were compounded when Trinh Sam chose to end the 100-year peace and exploit the turmoil in the south by sending his army to attack Phu Zan modern-day Hue, the Nguyen capital. The Trinh army captured the city, forcing the Nguyen to flee to Jia Din later called Saigon. The Trinh army continued to head south and the Tay Son army continued its conquest of other southern cities. The Nguyen were unpopular at this time, and the forces against them were too powerful. In 1776, the Tay Son army captured the last Nguyen stronghold of Jia Din and massacred the town's Han Chinese population. The entire Nguyen family was killed at the end of the siege, except for one nephew, Nguyen An, who managed to escape to Siam. Tay Son eldest brothers, Nguyen Nok, proclaimed himself emperor in 1778. A conflict with the Trinh was thus unavoidable. <laughs> <laughs> Defeat of Siam The Tay Son spent the next decade consolidating their control over the former Nguyen territory. Nguyen An proved to be a stubborn enemy. He convinced the king of Siam, Pia Taksin, to invade Vietnam in support of him. The Siamese army attacked in 1780, but in several years of warfare, it was unable to defeat the Tay Son army, as gains were followed by losses. In 1782, the Siamese king was killed in a revolt, and less than a year later, Nguyen An's forces were driven out of Vietnam. In 1785, Siam launched an invasion again and occupied part of Cuu Long Delta, but was defeated by Nguyen Hu in the Battle of Rach Gam Zoi Mut. 
Topic: <laughs> Conquest of Trin clan. Having vanquished the Nguyen for the time being, Nguyen Hu decided to destroy the power of the Trin clan. He marched to the north at the head of a large army in 1786, and after a short campaign, defeated the Trin army successfully. The Trin were also unpopular and the Taesun army seemed invincible. The Trin clan fled north into China. Nguyen Hu later married Princess Le Nok Han, the daughter of the nominal later Le Emperor, Le Hien Tong. Defeat of Qing Empire A few months later, realizing that his hope of retaining power had gone, the Emperor Le Chu Thong fled north to the Qing Empire of China, where he formally petitioned the Qianlong Emperor for aid. The Qianlong Emperor agreed to restore Le Chu Thong to power, and so in 1788, a large Qing army marched south into Vietnam and captured the capital Thang Long. Nguyen Hu gathered a new army and prepared to fight the Qing army. He addressed his troops before the battle saying, The Qing have invaded our country and occupied the capital city, Thang Long. In our history, the Trung sisters fought against the Han, Din Tianhoang against the Song, Tran Hung Dao against the Mongol Yuan, and Le Loi against the Ming. These heroes did not resign themselves to standing by and seeing the invaders plunder our country, they inspired the people to fight for a just cause and drive out the aggressors. The Qing, forgetting what happened to the Song, Yuan and Ming, have invaded our country. We are going to drive them out of our territory. In a surprise attack, while the Qing army was celebrating the Lunar New Year, Nguyen Hu's army defeated them at the Battle of Nok Hoi Dong Da and forced them, along with Le Chu Thong, to flee back to China. The Tae Sun were supported by Chinese pirates. Anti-pirate activities were undertaken by a joint alliance between Qing China and Nguyen Lord Zha Long while Chinese pirates collaborated with the Tae Sun. Decline and fall After Emperor Kuang Trung's death, his son Nguyen Kuang Tone was enthroned as Emperor Gun Tin at the age of 10. However, the real power was in the hands of his uncle Bui Dak Tuyan, who enacted a massive political purge. Many who served under Kuang Trung were executed, while others became discouraged and left the regime, considerably weakening the Tae Sun. This paved the way for Nguyen An to capture the entire country within ten years, with the help of French military adventurers enlisted by French Bishop Pigno de Bahen. In 1800, Nguyen An occupied Kai Citadel. In 1801, he occupied Phu Zan, forcing Nguyen Quang Tone to flee to Thang Long. In 1802, An besieged Thang Long. The then 20-year-old Nguyen Quang Tone escaped, but then was captured and executed, ending the dynasty after 24 years, and the Nguyen, the last imperial dynasty of Vietnam, took over the country in 1802. The Nguyen used crushing by elephant to execute the defeated Tay Sun leader Bui Ti Zan. The heart and liver from her body were consumed by soldiers of the Nguyen. Topic. See also. Tay Sun military tactics and organization Ten Great Campaigns Topic References George Edson Dutton, The Tay Sun Uprising, Society and Rebellion in 18th Century Vietnam. Honolulu 2006, ISBN 978-0-8248-2984-1 the First Tet Offensive of 1789 by Spencer C. Tucker A Brief History of the Tay Sun Movement 1771 by George Dutton 1998 G. Dutton at U. Washington. Adieu.